Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Macho 5 Lesson 13. Your coach, Mr. Magnifico, is in the house. Okay, so now we have a word problem. It says that Julie is cutting rect rectangles out of fabric to make a quilt. If the rectangles are two and three fifths of an inch wide and three and two and two thirds of an inch long, what is the area of four of them? Look at this, of four of them. So what we need to do is find the area of one first, area of one, and then we're gonna multiply it by four because that, was, that is like what the question is asking. So let's do this, my friends. So let's see, so here's the problem. The problem says that we have two and let me, I cannot see the number, three fifths times three and two thirds. So now you might ask yourself, why do we have that square in the middle? And the reason we have the square in the middle is because it's going to be the area model. So let's multiply it. The first one is going to be two, and that represents a two, and three fifths. So that is one of the mixed numbers, which is this one right here. Then we're going to divide the other one is going to be three, and that represents this area. Um, and the fraction is going to be two thirds. Why do we do that? Well, because that allows us to successfully multiply 2 times 3, which equals 6. Then we're going to go across. It's going to be 2 times 2 thirds, which equals 2 times 2 equals 4, and 1 times 3 equals 3, which that equals the 3 goes into the 4, 1, and 1 third is left because that's a mix. Uh, that's an improper fraction. Then we'll multiply 3 fifths times a three on the top again three times three equals nine and the denominator that is there is a one so this is going to be five when you multiply it five times one equals five and this is an improper fraction so you divide the nine by five and the five goes into the nine once once times five equals five the remainder is four so the answer for this multiplication is one and four fifths now let's do our last one. It's going to be 3 fifths times the number on the top, which is 2 thirds. 3 times 3 equals 6, and 5 times 3 equals 15. <clears throat> I believe both numbers can be divided by 3. And why you say that? Because 2 times 3 equals 6, and 5 times 3 equals 15. So the answer is 2 fifths. Okay, so we have all the answers. I believe we do. So we have six, one and one third, one and four fifths, and two fifths. Okay, so let's get this show on the road. So now we're gonna find the area. Area equals, we said six was one answer plus one and four fifths plus two fifths plus the other one is one and three fifths, one and three fifths, okay? So we're going to add what things that are common, in this case, the whole numbers, and we have two, three of them. So that is going to give us a total of eight, plus the fractions, four fifths, plus two fifths, plus three fifths. Okay, my friends, so let's see what's happening here. So they all have common denominators. That makes it beautiful. So it's going to be 8 plus a fraction with the denominator of 5. That's going to be 9 fifths. Well, and you see that 9 fifths is an improper fraction, right? So that's going to be 9 divided by 5. The 5 goes into the 9 once. 1 times 5 equals 5. The remainder is four, so now we know that the answer is one and four fifths. It's gonna be nine. Okay, let me just do this so you can see it. So we converted this one into one and four fifths. 
which when you add it up, it gives you nine and four fifths. <clears throat> Okay, my friends, there is your answer for one square. Remember that the question said, we found the answer for one square, but it says, what is the area of four squares? So now we have to multiply that number by four. What number? Well, this, this number right here. <clears throat> so let's do this. So nine and four fifths times four. So we're gonna have two multiplications, right? It's gonna be nine times four, nine times four equals 36 plus four times four fifths. So this is gonna be in parentheses, four fifths times four. And we have, we have to solve that right now. So we're gonna solve it. Let me, I'm going to move, uh, well, let me, I can do it right here. So that's gonna be a denominator one that's going to be equal 36 4 times 4 equals 16 and 5 times 1 equals 5 that's an improper fraction so we have to find the improper fraction equivalent so it's 16 divided by 5 the 5 goes into the 16 three times 3 times 5 equals 15 the remainder is 1 so now we know it's 3 and 1 fifth so now, because we converted that one into three and one fifth, now it's going to be 39 and one fifth. And let me just show you that this right here was converted into three and one fifth. Okay, my friends, the total, let's write it down, total area of four squares is 36, no, my apologies, it's not 36, it's 39. 39 and one fifth of the square inches. Remember that, square inches. Signing out your coach, my friends. Watch this video again. It's so helpful to watch videos more than once, especially if you're struggling in mathematics. Signing out your coach from Gravity to Studio.